Good morning everyone, I'm Elise and welcome to my tack room. I don't think I've filmed in here properly before so it's a little bit dark in here but we'll make do. So on my recent video someone asked me what I feed my minis and to make a video about it. So I've written about this in detail on my Facebook page which I'll link in the description below if you want to check that out. But I thought I'll show you in video form what I feed my minis. So I have two fillies, so one has just turned one a few days ago, so that was Scotty, it was her birthday the other day, on the 3rd of March. And then I have a 10 month old who is Sapphire and she was quite sick when we got her, won't go into detail about that yet, I will make a video about it soon though. Um, so feed is very important and it's made such a difference to them, seeing as they are show animals rather than just babies living in a field. I keep my feeds in these bins, they're just dog food bins, but they're on wheels so I can pull it out from under the counter. This is um, where I keep my supplements. This is um, linseed, spearmint, and I've got a young stock supplement in here. And then I got my, if I move that, then I got my weigh scales here, and I have everything written up on the board of what they eat. Both my feeds are from Emerald Green Farms and the reason I choose my feeds from them is because everything's grown completely naturally, nothing's added, there's no husks in it or fillers or binders, so it is literally what you get is what you get. So I feed the alfalfa amazing and then the meadow pellets. So the alfalfa is fed for its high protein level, it's got calcium in it and it's full of all the good stuff to help your horse grow. It's really, really good for young horses or horses in hard work. And then the Meadow Magic pellets, I just add for texture, I use them for treats, and they're perfect for laminitics and horses that can't eat huge amount of calories because they're very, very low in fat and all that, but um, they have a really high fiber amount, so that adds the fiber to the feed too. And then we have my supplements. So all my supplements are from Progressive Earth, which is a website that sells basically natural forms of supplement. You can literally make your own supplement because they sell like vitamin E, vitamin D. They sell anything you can mix yourself if you know what you're doing, of course. So I feed micronized linseed from them, which is a really good source of omega-3s. And it's fatty and oily, and it's really good for a coat shine and just keeping weight on it. And it's um, very high protein too, so it's perfect for the babies. And then I feed spearmint, which is just pure herbs, dried spearmint smells amazing and I just feed that for um, taste and making the feed just better, more edible to them and they absolutely love that too so that's great. And then I feed the Progressive Earth Young Stock Pro I think it's called. It's a white powder and it absolutely stinks, it's just so nasty, it makes me actually feel sick when I use it. Which is why the spearmint covers that up but it's a fantastic supplement, it basically contains everything you need. For your, young, for your youngsters to balance it all out and it is perfect, I love it. I used to feed a different one which I won't go into, not from them, from a different brand and there was all this kind of drama online so I decided not to repurchase it when um, I ran out and since I've been using the Progressive Earth supplements my horses have never looked better so I'm really happy with that. So let's start with Safi's feed. So I always weigh all my feeds just because I'm incredibly pedantic about it and I want to know they're getting all the nutrients in. So Safi gets 60 grams of alfalfa chaff from Emerald Green Farms. And then she gets 30 grams of the meadow pellet. And then if we move on to supplements, so let's start with the young stock supplement. This is just a progressive earth supplement. It's a young stock um, one, so I weigh this as well. So she gets seven grams of this and it absolutely stinks, but it does a really good job. And then, she gets some linseed in there too. And this is just micronized linseed. And she gets 10 grams of that. And then, I don't weigh this, I just, do a scoop which I know is about a gram and this is just spearmint and this is just um, for flavour because they both love their mint. 
So yeah, that's all that is in their feed. Obviously, Scotty gets a different amount than um, Little Sassy, but yeah, that's basically what they eat. Once I make their feeds, I also put quite a decent amount of water in each one. And then I'll mix it up so it soaks and when it comes to the evening time, it's ready to feed. And I soak it just because there's pellets in it and it just mushes it all together into a mash so it binds, so it makes sure they eat everything. They don't um, spit out the pellets or any other bits of food that they don't want to eat because they're fussy and um, yeah it prevents choke from happening so I'll do that now. So that's the feeds all done now and they're all stacked up under the cover and ready to feed this evening and the tap room's nice and clean now and I'm done for the day. They also eat um, haylage instead of hay so the reason I chose this is because it's number one it's packaged in small bales this is the Marksway Horsage Ryegrass it's high in protein and you can tell all the um, nutritional value is on the bag so it's the same every time and they will not eat hay anymore because they love this so much so this bale of hay here is just sitting there doing nothing and my rabbit's eating it instead so that's fun they're really spoiled clearly but I love the um, ryegrass it's great it's really good stuff so that's their feed routine done and thank you for watching see you next time